Hi everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make um, some baked pork chops, a little bit different. This is some flour. I seasoned just a tiny bit with garlic powder and a, just a little bit of salt, maybe a half a teaspoon. And in this bowl here I've got some buttermilk. And I also have some pork chops over here that you can't see but they're over there. Let's see. There they are. Okay. Now, and I also um, have this Hidden Valley uh, season, seasoning and salad dressing mix that I, I don't even know where I bought. Probably grocery store. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to do, the, do these pork chops. Um, let's see. Here we go. So I've got my pork chops here. I'm going to use a, these tongs, although I may give up on them. I don't know. First, oh, I'm going into the flour. And you know the routine. From the flour. To the buttermilk. Get it coated. And I really needed another dish here. I don't know why I didn't get one. But I'm going to get it now. Hang on a second here. I preheated my oven to 375 degrees. And I have sprayed a baking pan. Now in my other dish, which I don't think I can get them in the picture, but I'll, I'll try. This is where my Hidden Valley is going. Hidden Valley right in there. Got a few lumps in it, but I'm going to pick them out. All right. Okay. So we're in the buttermilk now. I'm going to take it out and, you know, shake it. And then it's going into the um, the Hidden Valley. Right here. Just get it coated on both sides. Pretty good. And then I'm going to um, put it right on the greased baking dish. The sprayed baking dish, I should say. All right. That's one. So you have seen how I do it. I've got a few more pork chops here. You know, it might be better just to kind of sprinkle this. Because I, I, I don't want to use all of it. There we go. Going right onto the baked greasing, the greased baking dish. Let's shake off the extra. And I'm going to finish the rest of them. And then I'll bring you back, all okay? Alright, I got all my pork chops done. And I just uh, put the pork chops on another plate after I did the flour and the buttermilk. And I sprinkled this um, Hidden Valley Ranch on it. Turned them over. Did the same thing to the other side. And I just put them down on this sprayed baking sheet. Now I've got my oven, I told you earlier, preheated to 375 degrees and I'm going to put this in the middle rack. Now I'm going for 35 minutes. I'm, I'll test it between then and I'll let you all know how long it took. But they're going in the oven right now and... Hi guys, my pork chops are we'll done. We'll bring you back when they get I done. I turned my oven up to 400 degrees and I also moved the rack to uh, one up because I looked at them after about six minutes and I thought gee you know they're not even going to get brown like this so I moved them up I was going to turn them over halfway through and decided not to do that either but um, let's see here's my the rest of my pork chops 
right there. They turned out wonderful. And I got Sam here to test for me. So here's your pork chop, Sam. Give it a whirl here. Let us know how you think it tastes. Well, I, I have to be honest now. Yes, you do. You must always be honest. Mmm, it sure is tender. Mmm. Very, very tender. Very moist. And the season, seasoning is excellent. You like that Hidden Ranch seasoning? Whatever's on there, I like it. It's very, very good. It's All delicious. right. All right. Well, you heard it from the professional eater. <laughs> he loves his food. So, uh, anyway, try these pork chops. Uh, I told you the changes that I made. It took 30 minutes at 400 degrees. And um, give them a try. Give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. And please subscribe if you haven't. I love your comments and I love to hear from you. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. And uh, until next time, you take care. Yeah, I'm